I spoke on the floor earlier today about uh, the 17 lives that were lost last week in Branson where a vehicle designed to work on both the land and the water didn't work on the water that day in a, in a weather uh, occurrence that was uh, really unusual. I, I met Friday with the uh, National Transportation Safety Board investigators about two dozen of which are in Branson, Missouri right now, and the Coast Guard. This is not the first kind of accident we've had, and that board is one of the boards that I think we often take for granted. Uh, the, you know, 20 years ago, a similar thing happened in Arkansas, about 200 miles away on a different lake. So really the questions are, uh, were the recommendations followed by the Coast Guard? Were they followed by the operator? Did the equipment work the way it was supposed to work? Uh, and was this act of God avoidable or unavoidable that uh, all came together for an accident? But it also leads to another point. We've had two of the uh, National Transportation Safety Board members uh, on the docket and unconfirmed, one Democrat and one Republican, for months now. Uh, we're going to get that done later today. Uh, we pay a big price when we make it hard to get people confirmed to these jobs who've been nominated by the president out of committee just waiting for what would normally be a routine thing to happen uh, so later today that will happen and that board for the first time in months will be back to its full strength and full capacity for board members one of whom always goes to every accident site uh, to be available to do that